Hearing from a Border Patrol agent involved in a dramatic scene that's come to symbolize U.S. immigration policy. The picture of a Honduran girl crying as she and her mother are detained in Texas has grabbed people's attention worldwide. Time magazine put her on this week's cover but has since issued a correction to its report that the child was taken from her mother screaming. CBS News correspondent David Bagnow has been reporting on that story and I spoke to him a short time ago. And you spoke exclusively to the border agent who detained him, and it turns out there's more to the story. Tell us about that. Ruta it took nearly five days just to get the interview. The Border Patrol told us that they felt like there was misinformation surrounding the photo, and I said to them, listen, the only way to clear that up is to allow us to talk to the agents. We've got to get the context behind what actually went down. We were patrolling the border. It was after 10 o'clock at night. We asked her to set the kid down in front of her, not away from her. She was right in front of her. And um, so we can properly search uh, the, the mother. So the kid immediately started crying as he set it down. I personally went up to the mother and asked her, are you doing okay? Is the kid okay? And she said, yes. And she's tired and thirsty. It's 11 o'clock at night. They're using it to symbolize a policy, and that was not the case on this picture. It took less than two minutes. Um, as soon as the search was finished, she immediately picked the girl up, and the girl immediately stopped crying. And you also spoke with a photographer who captured that image. What is his response now that we know that, in fact, those, the mother and the child were not separated? The photographer wanted to make two things clear. Number one, he saw professionalism on behalf of the Border Patrol agents that he encountered that night. He really wasn't taking any exception with their behavior. After all, he was simply there to observe. But he stands by his photo because he wanted the photo to evoke the emotion that it has. So he thinks the photo served its journalistic purpose. Do we know where the family is now? We do. They're at a facility in South Texas. We're told by ICE that they are together. Border Patrol says they were not separated while they were in Border Patrol's custody for 72 hours. And ICE said the whole time they've had them as a family, they are also together. But make no mistake about it, it's not a, a country club, so to speak. They are in custody. The mom and the girl, the mother is awaiting an immigration hearing. Because it is her second time, Ruta Bay, allegedly entering the country illegally, she could and likely will face felony charges. David, you've been reporting on the border. You know a lot about it. The president uh, signed the executive order on Wednesday. How have things changed on the ground since then? Mm, couldn't tell you. What I can tell you is that we've tried for the last 72 hours to get answers from the administration as to exactly how things were going to be different, what was going to change. I talked to one senior official in Washington today who said, we will not be issuing any statements from any agency until there is a whole of government response. It's frustrating to most people that the president signed an executive order on Wednesday, and we have no direction as to how the president's orders are going to be carried out. David Bagnow reporting on the border for us. Thank you very much.